So, you may notice something unusual about this. You don't usually get a wedge with a massive sticker on the club face. Now, this is a new mill grind wedge from TaylorMade, and this sticker on the club face is actually to stop it from rusting. Basically, TaylorMade have brought in this raw face finish, so this is just on the groove section of the club, and this is a finish that tour players really like, um, and it gets you a bit more spin. Um, and the reasoning behind that is there's not another coating over the top that's preventing any friction and protection getting that extra spin. So this sticker is actually there to make sure that it doesn't rust while it's on the, on the rack in your shop and that you're getting that, that pure finish when you first buy the club. But then as soon as this is removed, that's a point where it can start oxidising and you will potentially get a little bit of rust. So let's take it off and see what happens. Now this is quite sticky because obviously they don't want it just falling off on the rack in your golf club and the oxidation process starting there. So don't worry if it takes you a bit of time to get this off. So we can see the full finish now. Obviously this isn't something that's gonna rust instantly as soon as you take the sticker off like, and it obviously won't rust actually unless you really leave it in a bucket of water. So don't worry about your club instantly turning bright orange. So let's hit a few shots and see what this new finish feels like. Now obviously we're hitting chip and runs out of the rough here. The damp is, the grass is quite damp because we've had a few days of heavy rain so this wouldn't be a shot I particularly think I'd get a lot of spin from. But we are getting just like quite a nice controlled strike. If we move on to the shorter grass is probably where we're going to see that we might actually be able to generate a bit of spin. Those balls all did check up quite a bit but I think that's a lot of down due to the fact that the ground is quite damp. So I think let's take this club into a bunker or maybe somewhere with a flop shot and just see that's kind of a shot you're going to get more spin on and see how it performs then. As well as the raw finish they've also got deeper narrower grooves on these wedges and they've actually got some etching on the club face as well. So you can see that if you look up closely just like in between the grooves there's the small etching plates. So these are all designed to help improve your spin. So bunkers is kind of the place when generally I'm looking for my most spin other than a pitch shot. We've got kind of a mid-range bunker shot here, so one way you need to fly it a bit and then get it to stop. We actually saw that stopped really quick. It just flew up onto the top plateau of the green and checked up really nicely. My club is now covered in sand. It probably won't spin as much on the next shot. Caught that one slightly heavy, didn't quite get it up to the top of the slope, but we did see that it stopped quite quickly. Let's just hit one more. So these all checked up pretty quick. Obviously it's wet ground, so it is going to stop generally quickly, but we did see, especially on the first shot that I hit when there wasn't any sand on the face, that it definitely did spin up and check. And those have all finished within about 12 feet. The first one probably a bit closer. Um, so I'm generally really happy with that. I'm using a 56 degree here, which probably is slightly less loft than I would usually use for this shot. So the fact that they span up and stop was uh, really good. So the biggest addition we've seen to the new mill grind two wedges is the new raw face finish. So in traditionally in their wedges, TaylorMade would bring the finish from the rest of the club over the grooves. Now this is great aesthetically, but it makes the grooves a lot smoother um, and that reduces the amount of spin you can get. So they've seen a lot of the tour players such as Rory using raw faces and really enjoying them so they brought them to the market now so everyone can use them. So the rougher face from the raw finish allows you to create a lot more friction so hence you're getting more spin um, but they've also designed the grooves that are narrower and deeper so this also generates more spin as well so th these combined are providing you with something that's just spinning a lot more than the previous version. So on these wedges TaylorMade use CNC milling to grind the sole so this just means they can get a much more repeatable shape and um, if you're hand grinding the sole of a club it's a lot harder to reproduce the same club the same finish on every club so using this is just increases the precision and means they're getting the same thing every time this is especially good when they're using it with tour players because say if they're working with tiger he can grind it out to exactly how he wants and then they can just replicate it time and time again so they're not having to re-grind each wedge it can just be produced on the mill so there's two grinds across this option there's a standard grind and the c grind so the standard grind is designed it's just got your standard bounds so this is more for people who are just hitting kind of your typical pitch shots with this club you're not really manipulating the face a lot but potentially someone who has a standard shallow angle or a slightly steep shallow angle and has a tendency to dig down into the ball more and um, then the opposite with the c grind is that it has a low bounce so this is designed more for people who have a quite shallow attack of angle are just picking the ball up off the grass and it's also 
for around the greens if you want to manipulate the first more hip flop shots sort of high lob shots out of the bunkers then this is a great option so most of the time when i'm using a wedge it's generally for pitch shots and that's when i'm really looking at kind of getting more spin and grab, getting it to grab around the pin um, so we've got over 100 yards from the green now. I've got a 50 degree and I've got it in the matte black finish this time. So we've just got the standard sole and it's got nine degrees of balance on it. Visually, I think this sits really nice. Even though the matte black finish is a different in contrast to the raw face, it still doesn't put off from how the club looks at all. Struck that nice. Hopefully it gets there. Yeah, it's checked up nicely. It's probably spun back about five, six feet. The thing is, it just sat really nicely behind the ball. I did wonder if the fact that the like grooves look different to the club face would put me off, but it doesn't at all. It's almost kind of helps as an alignment guide and makes you focus on st striking it out the middle of the face. Um, so I kind of quite liked that from a visual. Better clean that grass off. It's definitely not going to spin. Again, I struck that nicely. It pitched next to the pin and it's probably spun back about similar distance to the last one, maybe slightly more. But let's head down and just take a look at where they finished. So we can see both the shots here and they finished basically exactly the same distance. We can see if we looked up here, this is where they've pitched. So they have spun back about six feet, maybe a bit more. Um, and that is what we saw from the fairway, but it's just showing that I'm not making it up. So I think the key thing here was like, obviously the raw face is really important in generating that spin. And it is something we've seen used a lot on tour already. So players like Tiger and Rory putting these in play. So obviously it's something that works or they won't be using them on tour. Now you can see there is quite a big difference between like the satin finish and the matte black finish in terms of the contrast with the raw face. So if you're someone who wants it to stand out less, maybe you're going for the satin finish instead. And it's not quite as obvious as it is with the matte black finish. Visually, you can see between the two that there's been quite a bit of reshaping done since the first like original model of these. Um, and I think it's just really made the club look even better. Um, some of the styling has been simplified with less logos on the back. And I think that just looks really good behind the ball. So TaylorMade are actually offering these in two different grinds. So you've got a standard bounce and then a low bounce. So I've got this in the standard bounce. And generally, this is looking at people with like either a neutral or steep attack angle. And it's looking at more pitch shots. So if I was looking to build my wedge set, I would be having this in my 50 and my, my 54 degree. So the two clubs that I'm using to hit more full shots with. So then moving into my 58, I would probably be looking at the low bounce instead because I like to manipulate the face for more, open the club a bit more. Um, so that's what I would look at. Um, so it's important to test both and see which you prefer. Um, if you do have a slightly shallower angle of attack, then the low bounce can also be good for that. So maybe that's something to look at in the um, different lofts if, if that's you that has a shallower attack angle. So I set that up in a little bit and I still found that it was okay to control. So even though this isn't the low bounce option, you still are able to manipulate the face a little bit, but probably just not quite as much. Maybe if you had a full lob shot or a really steep bunker face, you might be wanting to manipulate the face more that it would probably be better to have the low bounce option. But I think for kind of your standard around the green shots, this, this grind option is the best one. So overall, I'd say that, that the raw finish and the, the like, promise of this extra spin has definitely been delivered on the full shots. We saw that I was spinning back quite a lot and I was getting good control from around the greens. Obviously, it's quite wet conditions. So for short shots, um, we're not really seeing the spin as much because when you get more moisture on the club face, it's not going to spin as much. So I think that's something that I'm going to have to test a bit more long term and see around the greens on those short shots if they are producing the spin that we're seeing on the long shots. So visually, the redesign of these clubs looks really great. The new shaping sits really nicely and the club also looks great behind the ball. I found that even though the raw finish contrasts with the rest of the colour of the club, um, that it still looks fantastic um, and I really like the way it sits. It didn't distract from the shot at all. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.